Welcome to Today's Man, I'm John Early, and over the next half hour, we'll be presenting some great suggestions and information that you can apply to your life. Whether you're 26 or 60, working or retired, athletic or a couch potato, Today's Man has great, informative, entertaining segments all designed with you in mind. We'll take a look at hair replacement and show you that although hair loss might be inevitable, it doesn't have to be permanent. All in the next half hour, right here on Today's Man. Let's talk about hair loss. I know it's a sensitive subject for many men who are indeed losing their hair, but that loss doesn't have to be permanent, and here's why. Meet Mike, a Californian and president of his own public relations firm. Like many of us, Mike's life was fulfilling in many ways, and yet as time went by, Mike felt a profound sense of sadness, loss, and unhappiness in his life. And it wasn't difficult to find out why. It literally began in an elevator. It, I was 25 years old, and I was with a, uh, a colleague of mine. We were in San Francisco, and we were headed to the top uh, of a hotel to uh, meet with a group of friends and have some dinner. And the light was shining on my head. And when I was en route in the elevator up, up to the top, um, he made a comment. He said, wow, you really are thinning on top. 30% of us experience significant hair loss, and for many men, and women too, hair loss is a very sensitive issue, affecting confidence and self-esteem. I think it makes you feel uh, not equal. I would say that with your, your friends, your colleagues, you're, you're always conscious of your hair, and I think inside it makes you just feel like uh, you're not whole. What's the solution? At one time, wigs and toupees were an option, but were and are obvious cover-ups. Early on, it was just trying to figure out if we could take hair from one area and make it grow. And it was very successful, but it created people with plugs. And plugs, or doll's hair as it's termed, is very noticeable. Finally, over the last five years or so, we've developed a technique called microscopic follicular unit grafting. And what that does is it takes the patient's own natural groupings of hairs, which are ones, twos, and threes. And some people even have fours, and it depends on your ethnic background as to what kinds of groupings you have and what percentages you have of each. But what that does is it gives us a natural distribution of hair. Today's hair restoration is not yesterday's hair transplants, and I think that's very important to notice. My best work goes unnoticed. It's absolutely exciting and overwhelming. I mean. I never thought that I would ever be in a position to do this. Mike made a wise choice. Dr. Ziering's artistry and skill are recognized around the world. He's performed over 10,000 procedures, is frequently a guest surgeon at international conferences, and has received numerous awards in his field. His blending of science and artistry has literally changed people's lives. He's gracious, he's charming, he's pleasant. I think he's very serious about his work. I think he enjoys doing what he's doing. He walked me through the process. I saw a lot of before and after pictures. But also a powerful part of the consultation was meeting someone who had actually undergone the procedure. And so I had the opportunity for some real back and forth conversation with him. Today, in order to get that look that's very natural and so that it's not noticeable, you want to go to a surgeon who uses a microscope, who does microscopic flicker unit grafting. And the reason that that's critical is because we can identify the natural groupings only by looking through a microscope. And that's what gives you that natural look. I designed the Zeering microscope specifically for hair restoration and surgery. A lot of microscopes were being used and, and adapting them to hair transplant surgery rather than getting one that was specifically made for this purpose. And the reason it's important is it's a very labor intensive procedure. We take a strip of tissue and divide it under the microscope and you're taking one strip and doing two or three thousand follicular units. And so to cut them under the microscope you have to be, have something that gives you good visibility, that's cool so that it's not a hot light because you don't want to damage the tissue and that also is comfortable for you and your surgical technicians to use. And so we designed this microscope to do all of those things and that way it gives us a much better result for the patient. You need more than just science to look like this. You need to have somebody who understands 
the frustration level, um, the sadness. You need to have a doctor that has the ability to not only do this, but to creatively do it with a certain amount of artistry. Um, it's, not just, it's not just providing you with a full head of hair. It's providing you with a full natural head of hair that makes the difference. And Zering Medical made that difference for me. I think there's an interesting dynamic with the combination of technology, technique, and surgical artistry. The way that you angle and orientate these grafts and the artistry of the surgeon is what gives the impression of much more hair in a natural distribution. It's an empowering revelation to many men and women that they do not have to suffer through hair loss as a fate of their genes. I feel better about myself. So I'm comfortable that I had it done. And I feel good about it. I would do it again. I wouldn't hesitate. I mean, now that I know um, what the results can be. I feel blessed at what I'm able to do. I, I love coming to work every day and being a part of someone's life. And I get to use some of the medicine that I learned and some of the surgical skills that I have. And I get to use my hands. And I interact with people every day. And I know I make a significant difference in their life. And I think that's why we're all here, to interact, to establish relationships, and to help one another. And I get to do that. And I'm passionate about it. And, and I'm not satisfied with things being left the way they are. I'm always looking to make it better, to either look better or a better experience for my patients and my staff. I feel great. I feel absolutely wonderful. It's been one year and this is what I look like. I went from having almost no hair on top of the front of my head and I have a complete full head of hair. I don't think about it when I'm swimming. I don't think about it when I'm mountain biking. I don't think about it when I'm in the car with the top down. I absolutely love where I'm at so far and I know that I still have more hair to grow. If you do decide to try out Dr. Zeering's method, you'll be in good company. He's treated many major movie, TV, and sports stars. And that's our show for today. I'm John Early, and thanks for joining me. And be sure to join us next time as we take a look at more great tips and suggestions for making life a little easier, less stressful, and a lot more fun for today's man.